after years of searching and trying and experimenting and failing, I feel like I've finally found an everyday workout routine that works for me. There is hope for everyone. Healthy diet and exercise, exercise and healthy diet. How many times have we not heard that the combination of the two is what makes for a healthy lifestyle? I feel like we're all different. Some people struggle with healthy eating, but working out comes natural and easy to them. Others, like me, have no problems with eating healthy and well and being happy with that, but have a bit more problems with finding a workout routine that works for their everyday life. There are two reasons why I personally have been having some issues getting my daily workouts in. First of all, they take time. Time away from my job, time away from watching movies, time away from spending time with David. And secondly, they are physically annoying. So okay, you feel good afterwards, but while doing them, most types of workouts will be irritating. So how have I managed to find a routine that doesn't take too much time or doesn't irritate me too much? Well, here's the thing. I don't work out to be pretty. That's not my motivation. Nowadays, my main motivation to exercise is for my body to function well. I spend such a big part of my day sitting down in front of a screen working that my body has definitely taken a toll. My back, my neck, my shoulders, even my poor booty and legs, all of them started feeling tense and tired. So I did a day's worth of research to compose a routine that will strengthen my core and the rest of me as well. It takes about 30 minutes and it's all about strengthening. Very slow controlled exercises, small movements, focusing on core strength. It follows my breath, so it also calms me down and makes me conscious of my breathing. Something in between Pilates, yoga, classic exercises and a lot of stretching. This might sound weird, but I do this workout just after my mid-morning shower. The reason why I shower before I work out is because I want to feel fresh and good when exercising. One way to motivate myself to exercise is to make it as enjoyable as possible. Lighting a candle, listening to calming music, wearing something cute. Not all sweaty in an old stained t-shirt and unbrushed hair. Not sure if this is making sense to anyone but myself. This exercise doesn't make me sweat enough to take another shower afterwards. Instead, after my workout, I roll up my mat and go out into the kitchen where David has prepared lunch for us. It's like an instant reward for being good and working out. By the way, after doing this series of exercising for less than two weeks, my body changed dramatically. Not like looking all bodybuilder or anything, but in the way that my tenseness got so much better almost instantly. If you're having neck or back issues or whatever from sitting still too much, I can really recommend you trying out this kind of exercising. I do this about four or five mornings per week. I don't really need any equipment for these exercises, but a yoga mat makes it much easier. I love this one I got gifted from Prana because it's extra big and it's also eco-friendly. Plus, it's black. Gotta love that. So I mentioned that I don't want my working out to take too much time from my day or be too stressful to my body. That's why I love walking. It's not irritating my body because it's so mild. Also, you can talk while doing it so it doesn't take away time from my hangouts with David. Actually, it's the opposite. We have a reason to just talk about our day, how we're feeling, what's on our minds when we're out walking. Best way of moving that body, in my opinion. It's so natural. So, for the most part of our 10-year relationship, we've been having the habit of going for about an hour's walk every day. We walk fast, we walk long, sometimes two or three hours at a time, and we talk. I would say that almost all of our big plans and great ideas we've come up with on one of our daily walks. After we've finished working in the evening, we put on our shoes and go out. And on weekends, we generally go in the afternoon, sometimes we walk to a cinema or a restaurant or an event, sometimes we just walk for the sake of walking. When working from home, it's so great to go out and clear your mind of all of that work-related stuff before coming home again and having your off time. After our walk is done, no job talk is allowed. Now, I would love to do some more fun types of working out once in a while too, like kung fu or dancing or something, but for now I'm just so relieved to have found a workout routine that makes my body happy and that is realistically working with my schedule. 
I feel kind to my body, neither under nor overworking it, and I'm not hating the workouts themselves, wishing them to be over quickly. Instead, they calm me down and are good for me mentally as well. I feel like my life can be very stressful sometimes, so I need my workouts to not be draining me or put any more stress on my mind or body. I instead want them to be calming, strengthening and giving me energy. This is just what works for me, not putting any pressure on me to reach fitness goals or get any type of results other than feeling good and taking care of myself. Other people say that they need to be goal-oriented to feel motivated to work out and that's all good too. I think it's just important to listen to what your body and mind is telling you. What do you feel good doing? What type of movements are you in the mood for? What time of day suits you best to work out? There are no rights and wrongs here, just work with your body. That's my opinion anyway. Are you doing any type of exercising? It would be really cool to hear what kind of workouts you guys are into. Also, I have a really old video, it's a 30 minute Pilates video, so if you guys want to do some working out with me, I can put a link to that video in the description box. Give me a thumbs up if you like health videos and don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in just a couple of days, I hope. See you soon, bye!